The biggest mystery this morning wasn't the time change, but what happened after you woke up. <sighs> Something that people do every single day, multiple times a day, and they'll do it for their entire life. The question of why we yawn is what drives Andrew Gallup to get out of bed every day. He's a professor at the State University of New York Polytechnic Institute. It's a far more complex behavior than, than uh, uh, meets the eye. It's a behavior that begins before birth. That's right. Doctors have even observed babies yawning in utero. Is it fair to say to yawn is to be human? To yawn is to be a vertebrate. Birds yawn, other mammals yawn. Yawn-like behaviors are observed even in fish and reptiles and amphibians. So it's a really ancient response. We humans, it turns out, are superlative yawners. The average duration of yawning in humans is about six seconds. And we've actually studied the duration of yawning across different mammals, and we've found that, that humans are the longest yawners. Why do you think that is? Well, we've shown that yawn duration is robustly correlated with brain size and cortical neuron numbers. So maybe our big brains need that six-second jaw-gaping, eye-watering inhalation to get some oxygen. There's actually no support for that hypothesis. Yawning does not function to increase oxygen in our blood. Gallup's research has shown that what yawning does do is increase blood flow to our brains, cooling them like a radiator cools a car engine. It's your brain's way of actually increasing alertness. Why it's important to have a cool brain is because brains operate most efficiently at an optimal temperature. Should we be flattered then when someone yawns in our presence? Is that person really trying to focus on what we're saying? Yeah, when people yawn in classrooms or in, in front of other people, it actually represents an attempt for them to maintain attention and focus, and it indicates that they're actually paying attention to you. I've been hearing it in this room, like, regularly. So it's fair to say this professor at Cornell University got the wrong message. If I hear one more of these overly loud yawns, get up and walk the hell out! It was one of those summits. No, not boring, but long. Yawning is common among individuals right before public speaking events. Yawning has been documented among paratroopers right before they jump out of planes. And yawning is also very common among Olympic athletes right before competition. And it's not because they're sleepy. It seems that yawning is a response that helps prepare individuals for action. Still, misperceptions about yawning persist. In fact, in 2009, one judge actually sentenced someone to jail for disrupting the court by yawning. <sighs> All of which is to say, we won't fault you if you've yawned your way through this very story. Yawning is highly contagious. You can think about wild animals needing to be alert and watching for predators. And so if you're getting drowsy, but it's not time to rest, catching a yawn of someone else might make you more alert and therefore, okay, I'm not going to fall asleep. I'm going to be in tune with the group. According to Professor Matthew Campbell of California State University Channel Islands, contagious yawning is actually one way certain social animals, including us humans, show empathy towards each other. We think that empathy is about adopting the feelings of others, so you get kind of on the same page of them. You're happy if they're happy, you're sad if they're sad. That allows you to bond and, re and respond appropriately to individuals. So a contagious yawn is not only something we share with creatures large and small, it's a way we relate to one another. You're seeing that emotional connection, that body connection that is involuntary and appears to be pretty deep in our evolution. When you frame it that way, they are this dramatic manifestation of our connection with each other. When you see a yawn caught by another individual, you catch someone else's yawn, and it says something about the positive aspect of their relationship. And yeah, I think there's something beautiful there.